Hello guys, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we will design and assemble coach yoke mechanism and finally we will interact with motion study. So let's start this. First of all, we will design the base of the mechanism. So we will first select front plane. Okay. Now we will select here straight slot. Actually select center point straight slot. It will allow you to choose the point as a midpoint. Okay, now you can see the origin is our midpoint. Now give it dimension. 200 and this dimension should be 20 go to features and extrude it up to 4 mm accept it Now select this face and sketch on it, make it normal. Now select circle, select on the arc and a point will appear center point. Now draw a circle here, similarly do this on the other side. Now dimension the circle, make it 18 mm diameter, okay, make it equal to the other one, okay, now go to features and extrude it up to 30 mm, so let us extrude it up to 10 mm, now it's okay. Now select this face and sketch, make it normal. Now select center line, draw a center line, it should be vertical. You can see the vertical relation here. Now Dimension it 60 mm. Select circle. Draw a circle from the midpoint of the line like this. Okay, now draw. A line trim it. Okay, now select three point arc, select this line and this line. Now make this line and this circle tangent. You can see it's already tangent. Similarly make this arc and this line tangent. Okay. Now make this arc and this line tangent. Okay now it's tangent. Now Use trim entities and trim this extra line. Similarly, trim this half circle here. Except, okay, here is accepted. 
okay now use mirror entities command entities to mirror we will select this line and this arc and mirror about pool we select this line accept now use trim entities command trim this half circle here okay now go to sm uh, small dimension this should be 30 it's okay okay now make it 22 okay now it is okay okay now select this line and select this convert entities now this line is converted now use stream entities command and trim this extra line <clears throat> okay go to features extrude ball space and extrude this reverse the direction and make it 4 mm <clears throat> now it seems okay okay here is one thing we missed drop down this and go to sketch edit sketch make it normal select circle and draw a circle accept it select smart dimension make the circle 4 mm <clears throat> okay now select this origin and the center circle and make it 45 mm okay this dimension is no change we will change it 45 mm now it's okay now accept <clears throat> now there is a hole for the pin okay now we will sketch on this face now here is the point select the point and place the point <clears throat> uh, dimension the point 15 mm should be Okay. it should be 8 mm from okay we will edit this uh, edit this boss edit features now make it offset make it offset 3 mm make it in reverse direction except now it should be ok go to this point sketch and check if it is ok now it is ok Now we will dimension this point and we will make it 14.64 Ok Ok 
okay exit sketch go to features and go to reference plane select this first reference as right plane and then select this point okay now accept it now we will sketch on this plane go to sketch okay now draw a center line from this point to upward okay now make this length 35.21 accept okay now select three point arc and draw an arc now select this center point of the arc and this point and make it coincident okay now make this two point and this line symmetric accept it okay now make this arc 10 mm radius 10 mm accept now offset this arc okay make it one okay now here you can here you can draw an arc like this similarly you can also draw an arc like this okay now now here go to extrude ball space make it mid plane and make it 25 okay now this is for the support for cylinder in which our piston will move now make this plane height now we will select on the base Now go to sketch. Now draw a circle making the point as the center point of the circle. Make the radius of the circle let's say 7. Now extrude this circle and select up to surface and select the surface. Accept. Okay. Now go to mirror. Okay, here this is mirror command. Now mirror face or plane. We will select the right plane. Now features to mirror. We will select this this feature and this upper feature. Accept. Okay, here is an error only merging features may be pattern. Okay, we have to merge these. Go to edit feature. Now this is merged. Go to edit feature. Now it can it can be mirrored.
select right plane select these two features accept okay here still it is not shown here or oh, there must be some error now it is okay okay we we will assign some material to it and change its appearance okay go to metal and we will give it let us see what we have here here iron we will give it iron accept now it looks fine now we can save it as base now we will design the cylinder in which the piston will move this part is quite simpler and easy so we will select front plane we will select circle now the dimension is 15 mm actually make it 14 mm accept it go to extruded bore space make it extrude 60 accept now select the face sketch make it normal draw a circle now dimension it 10 mm now extrude cut and make it 58 make it 58 mm now it looks fine now go to fillet now give it 2 mm fillet actually 2 mm is much higher make it 0.5 it is okay similarly here make it full preview accept now save it as cylinder now we will design the crank wheel so we will select front plane sketch here select circle draw a circle dimension it 70 mm diameter now we will extrude it make it 6 mm except okay now select the plane so the face of the circle and sketch so now we draw a circle like this and we will mention it from origin 25 mm and make the circle 12 okay now go to features 
extrude cut and make it through all except okay now we will go to linear pattern and then circular pattern features and faces we will select this face or feature you can see now direction we will select this edge now make it 6 it looks fine except now this is to reduce the weight of the crank wheel ok now we will select this back face and sketch on it make it normal we will draw a circle make it 4 mm now extrude it up to 4 mm except now sketch on this newly extruded feature now sketch on this face draw a circle dimension it 5 mm and make it 5.5 now extrude it up to 1 mm okay now now sketch on the other side now draw a circle dimension it 6 mm and make it 25 Next, to it up to 4 mm Ok Now sketch on this face Make it normal Now draw a circle Make it 8 Now extrude it, extrude it up to 1 mm. Okay. Now our crank wheel is ready. So we will give it some color or some material. Okay, we will go to metal here, go to steel, and we will give it brush steel ok now it looks fine we will save it as crank wheel now we will design the connecting rod and the piston so select front plane sketch now we will select straight slot ok now we will dimension it make it 56 and make the radius 3 accept now draw another of same length make the radius of the second one 4.5 select now we will extrude it extrude it up to 4 mm accept ok now we will sketch on this face make it normal 
now select center line now draw a center line from the midpoint like this now draw a circle in the midpoint make it 3 mm now extrude it extrude it up to 80 okay now select this face select sketch now draw a circle of 10 mm here make it 10 mm select now go to features and extrude sorry extrude it extrude it up to 10 mm make the direction reverse okay now select this face sketch okay now select this face and go to convert entities convert entities now select this circle and select convert entities now we will select this edge this circle and we will select convert entities now draw a circle like this make it 7 mm ok go to features extrude cut now select this contour make it 3 mm accept now it looks fine now go to reference select plane select this surface and this surface now plane is defined in between except now go to sketch select this plane and sketch make it normal now select a center line and draw a center line in between like this now select square corner rectangle draw three set of squares like this make these three lengths equal and these three lengths equal okay now make it 0 0.5 okay and make this and this equals to 0 0.8 similarly this and this 0 0.8 and make this length 0 0.7 Now go to features, revolved cut. Now in this section you will select this center line. And in this contours you will select this, this and this contour. Now accept. Now you can see the space for rings has been created in the piston. Okay. Now go to mirror, mirror face, we will select right plane, okay, now features to mirror, we will select both extrude 2, 3, extruded cut and revolve cut, accept, now our piston and 
connecting node has been created. Now we will give it some color here. Okay, we will give it silver. Make it chrome. Make the whole body. Now it looks fine. Now we will save it. Now we will complete the assembly portion. Make sure the base is fixed. It is showing float. It means the base is fixed. And make other components float. Okay, now three components. Not now three components are not fixed. Only base is fixed. Now select mate. Select this circle and this and make it concentric mate. Except now select this surface and this surface, make it coincident mate. Select. Okay. Now select this surface and this surface make it tangent mate ok now select this surface and this surface make it coincident mate ok Ok now select this surface of the cylinder and this port and make it concentric mate Ok I made a little bit modification in the cylinder Here is the cylinder Here you can see I made the outer diameter 20 mm so that it can easily be suited on the spot. Now change this surface transparency so you can see the piston moving. Okay, now made this surface and the inner circle here. Make it concentric, accept it. Okay, now we will fix the position of the cylinder according to the piston's position. Now revolve it. Now you can see our piston is neither impacting with the outer red center and neither it is coming out of the cylinder. So it is ok. Now fix the cylinder. Ok now we need to mirror this cylinder. So go to mirror components and mirror plane here we will select the right plane of the base component 
and we will select components to mirror the cylinder okay now you can see our cylinder has been mirrored also change its transparency now this is perfect now our assembly has been created now go to motion study now select rotary motor and make this crank wheel rotate and give it 12 rpm make this constant speed and in this selection make this base except now calculate it now you can play the animation now it is working perfectly so if you find this video informative then subscribe my channel and like the video thank you